wanna feel away. Bad bitch always get away. What she need is she be coming over to my place. What up, everybody? As you can see by the title, I'll be showing you all my curly hair routine. I start off by putting my hair into four different sections. I already have the section in the back pent up, so I'll just be working on the section that isn't pent up yet, if that makes sense. But I drench my hair in the water. I like working on drenched hair or soaking wet hair rather than damp hair. After that, I take my wide tooth comb and I detangle from the ends all the way up to the roots. It works better for me that way. It doesn't take out as much hair. Then I take my Conair brush. It's kind of like a denim brush and it just helps get all the knots and the tangles out. I use the Cantu Daily Oil Moisturizer to add some more moisture to my hair. I make sure to get it in the roots and evenly disperse through the hair. Then I use my Cantu Coconut Curl Cream so that the curls can pop. After doing all that, I like to spray my hair with water to lock in the moisture. Then I just repeat these steps on the other sections of hair. I didn't put that in the video because I felt that would be kind of redundant. But now I'm just taking out all the sections, kind of finger detangling it. Ooh, po, po, po. After I take all the sections out, it's basically me just fluffing out my hair, detangling it a little bit more, just trying to give it added definition. After I do that and fluff it out, this is my favorite part, I just push it over, shake it left to right, all around. This like loosens the curls, it doesn't make them so clump. This is me just kind of styling it, getting out of my face. I'm gonna fluff it up a little in the back because I have a lot of shrinkage. So it gives it a little bit more definition. You can actually see the shrinkage in this video coming up right here. Right here, I'm just showing you how the hair looks at different angles while it's completely wet. After I do all this, I usually just put it up in a pineapple or a high ponytail, whatever you like to call it. Um, it just kind of is my go-to hairstyle. So I put it up, then I just let it dry completely, which takes about a good three to four days to dry completely. Um, right about now, I'm just shaking it out, shaping it, giving it a little added definition. Like the other style, this comes out completely different, dry, then it looks wet, as you can see in the video to the right. To the left, it's one day later, and to the right, it's completely dry, so about four days later.